everybody, uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial. I'm just going to show you how to import Mega Bricks into Unreal Engine 5 using the Epic Figure Getter. So, I'm going to import a figure from Mega Bricks. And the one I'm going to use is. Uh, where is it? Uh, I'm going to use this Luke Skywalker here. Obviously, you can use whichever figure you want. Uh, I'm just going to use this one. So we export that as a ZBX. See, I've already got one from earlier. Okay, so I'm going to import that. And I'm going to uh, rig this using the Epic Figure. Okay, so uh, just to show you one of the issues you might have. I'm going to export this as it is right now. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select these uh, body parts, which is all these, and I'm going to uh, press Control and select this uh, finished rig object here. Then File, Export, FBX. I'm going to put that in my folder and call it Player. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, tick Selected Objects here, and then select Armature and Mesh. Uh, by holding shift and selecting both of them. And then I'm going to come down to Armature and untick Add Leaf Bones. And it's going to export that. Uh, now in Unreal, I'm going to make a new um, third person project. Put that in there. Let's put it there. That'll do. So I'm going to make this and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so now that we're in Unreal Engine, uh, I'm going to make a new folder just to for some organization. I'm going to call this player. And then I'm going to import the player that we just uh, exported. And on here, I'm going to make sure import animations that's unticked. Some tip might be for me by default, but it might not be for you, so make sure it's unticked. And then I'm going to leave everything else as it is. So I'm going to press the import all now. Um, so you'll see that it comes in, but there is a few things that's kind of gone wrong somewhere. So the first thing is you'll see he's got no hand, and as well he also no, has no hair, and that's come in as a separate object. And now in my case I don't want that. Um, so I'm going to go fix that back in Blender. But first I'm just going to delete these ones just to make it easier later on. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to fix this is to uh, sort these hands out. So why are these not uh, important? Well that's because these are basically the same object, they share the same... They, they are the same object and they're sharing everything, they're sharing all the same data. So we need to make the single user by uh, selecting both of them, come to object at the top, uh, Object, Relations, Make Single User, Object, Data and Materials. So now they're separate objects. Um, you only need to do this step if your hands are the same colour. Um, so if you have one that's black and one that's skin coloured, um, it does it. you don't need to do it for that, but since mine are the same colour, I need to do that. And for the hair, I need to parent this to the uh, armature, the head accessory bone, um, because Unreal is paying attention to the fact that these are not same that it's not parented. So to do that I'm going to make this more visible, the armature more visible. So I'm going to go over to armature, viewport display and tick infant. So now you can see the head one I've got there. So I'm going to select the hair piece, shift select the rig, go into pause mode, select the head accessory bone and uh, control P and bone. So now that's parented to that as it should be. You see it's spinning around, but doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so, now that I've done that, I can re-export, I can export this once again. Just as, just as I did before. Export that. And back in here, let's re-import it again. Again, make sure import animations is unticked, and then import all. So now you'll see he comes in much better. He's got his hair 
and he's got his hands. Both of them. Which is obviously what we want. Okay, so we can save that. Now I'm going to go back into Blender and we can uh, start making some animations for him. Uh, I'm not going to make anything too drastic, um, but obviously you'd want you'd want to make your own animations properly. Okay, so I'm going to drag out a new window. I'm going to change this to the top sheet. I'm going to change this one, this top sheet, to the action editor. So we're going to use actions for this. Uh, this is just so we can import them easier. Um, obviously, this is just one way you could do it, but this this is how I'm doing it. So. I'm going to change my frame start to zero just because I like doing that. Okay, so I'm going to press new, new up on this top right. So this will add a new action. I'm going to call this animation one. So all I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to move his, I'm going to move his hand. He's move, I'm going to move his arm up and then back down again. So I'm just going to add a uh, location rotation keyframe there. So I'm keeping as well. I'm gonna to go to frame 15. And I'm going to move his hand up like that. And then on frame 30, bring it back down again. Uh, I'm also going to change my frame rate to uh, 30 FPS, just so my animations are 30 FPS. And I'm going to bring my timeline down to 30. So now you can see all he's doing is that. Something fancy, but. It's just for, to demonstrate this. So now that I've done that, I'm going to press this to push down button, and you see it says push action down to the onto the NLA act stack as a new strip. Because now that we've done that, what's the NLA thing? Well, this is basically a way to make poses. So you see, I says animation one on here. So this is one of my animations. I'm going to make a new one by pressing the add new button again. I'm going to call this animation two. And now I'm going to animate animation two. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the same thing I did for his arm, but this time I'm going to do it on his leg instead. So you can see his legs moving. His legs moving now. You can see his arms moving as well, but I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. It's not broken or anything. It's just a little thing. They showed you. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna push this one down as well. And go I'm just gonna go back into the non linear animation window. So now you can see I've got both of these here. Um when you import these into Unreal they'll come in separately as two separate animations. Uh, but if you want to preview one or the other, uh, you can take one of these two boxes here. So if I wanted to preview the first animation, I would untick the second animation. And you can see now he's just moving his arm. If I, wanted to, if I wanted to preview his first animation, his second animation, untick the first one. That makes sense. Okay, so now that I've done then, I'm just gonna rename them just to make it easier. Just to make it easier. So there you go. Okay, so now that we've done them, super simple animations, and I'm going to export the animations now. So I'm going to shift click the objects again just like I did before and go to file export again and pretty much everything is the same uh, the only thing we need to change is come down to armature no not armature sorry uh, fake animation and untick this all actions. The reason I'm doing this is because by default um, epic figure comes through with some built-in actions and we don't want to export all of these we just want to do the ones that we've just made here uh, so if you don't take that that'll just do the ones that we've done okay so I'm going to name this as animations and I'm going to go back into Unreal Engine and then in, in, in Unreal import animations and you see we get this window again uh, this time what you want to do is make sure that import animations is ticked um, but untick import mesh because we've already got that from my player. And then in skeleton, you want to make sure that player skeleton is selected, which mine is. And then it imports up. And there you go, you can see they've come in just nicer there. So, what I'm going to do quickly is uh, I'm going to just um, change my third person character into 
the character that we just employed. So I'm going to go back. In, so I'm going to go into the third person character feed, in that's in content, third person blueprints, and then third person character. So I'm going to select his body. And you can see he's got a skeleton mesh down here. Uh, and this is what the player sees on the screen. So I'm going to select this and change it to player, which is our player. And you can see he's way too big. If I zoom out, you can see he's an absolute unit. So I'm going to dec decrease the size to about 0 0.04, which is what I usually do. Uh, if you if you tip this little padlock thing, it'll change all three at once. Um, and you can see it's much better size now. Okay, and I'm also going to drag out the animations that we just imported, just so you can see them working. And again, you can see these are too big as well. So I'm going to drag them out. Test play. So you can see how animation. You can see how a player doesn't have any animations. But that's obviously because we haven't set any up in this video. Um, but you can see we have our other animations that we didn't import playing here. And you can see they're both playing separately. They're both doing their own action. They're not doing anything else. They're not doing each of his actions at the same time, which is exactly what we want. Uh, I'm not going to show you any gameplay features in this or anything. Uh, this is just to demonstrate how to import the animations. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.